Have you been learning how to play chords on your guitar and you know they're they sound okay but they're not coming out kind of how you hoped and they're not as clean sounding as you would like? Well there are three main causes, reasons for this and I'd love to show that to you and how to fix it for good. So welcome to this Guitar Beginner's Guide video. I'm Sean and I want to share these secrets with you to make your chords sound great. So for today's video we're going to focus on what are commonly called or referred to as open position chords, or some people call them grips. Now, they're the type of chords that we all learn in the beginning, uh, like things like Ds and I think E. E was the first one I ever learned, and like Gs and Cs and all that kind of great stuff. And uh, we're not gonna focus on bar chords. Bar chords are the ones where you push down more than a single string with a finger. We will get to those in another lesson. So quite often when we first start learning chords, uh, we've, we get some weird things going on. Uh, this is a chord called, called C, sounds like so. Um, but I remember when I first learned this chord, it, it wasn't always so great. Uh, sometimes I would, it would be okay, and sometimes it would kind of come out like... You know, I get weird things like that kind of in the middle of the chord. You know, and then my hand would get tired and it would get worse and my fingers were sore and maybe I'd get some cramping and all that kind of stuff. Well, let me help you walk through these steps. Let's just get right down to it. So here's reason number one. All right, so reason number one. Your finger is not close enough to the fret wire itself. And what I mean by that is so we have this rectangular area of the, the fret where we place our finger. Um, the sound, when you push down on a string, the sound is coming from the fret wire onward. So you're forcing the string into the fret wire. And if there's not enough pressure, or if it's just kind of a little bit off, so we'll get this, this kind of sound. So if you're a little too far this way in the fret, try to snuggle up a little bit closer. Now, that's not too bad to do on a chord like C, but something like an A, here's an A chord, you'll find that that might not work for a chord like this because they're all in the same fret and just the way that the hand is, it's not, you know, it's kind of impossible to crank that around that way. Uh, so you have to pay a little bit of extra attention to something like that. All right, reason number two. So here I am with my C chord again. Um, what this one is all about is sometimes we accidentally drape our fingers or crank them the wrong way. Now if we look at the above view, you can see that I have the knuckles bent at the beginning of the fingers, like the first knuckle there. So they're not out flat like so, they're curved like this. Okay, so by not curving them, by having them kind of folded this way, for example, um, then they're kind of, you see that guy, he's going right across and touching all sorts of stuff. So we want to make sure that those fingers are angled like so. All right, so just before I get to reason number three, just a quick reminder that if you're enjoying this content, I would really, really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe as that helps me to get more content out to you. All right, let's get back to it. Reason number three. All right, so reason number three, it's the thumb. Now, you're thinking to yourself, I thought all the action was up in front. And yes, a lot of it is up there, but check this out. When I see people playing guitar in the beginning, I quite often see this kind of thing going on where they are kind of cupping the neck of the guitar and bringing their thumb up and resting it on top like so. Or alternatively, I see this kind of thing where the thumb is kind of back here. I even remember seeing somebody kind of going like right under like this. Um, but they're doing th this kind of thing. They're pushing with this part of the hand. So why is that bad? Well, let me show you. The hand needs to be open and relaxed to do what it needs to do. If I'm go just kind of going back to this first example here, if I'm doing this, and I'm just gonna take the guitar neck away here, what I'm doing is I am unnaturally kind of cramping my hand. And if you wiggle, if you do that, and then you try to wiggle your fingers, you'll find it's actually kind of restricting the the flow there. And likewise, I had that, that other technique that looked like, like so. Again, if I take the guitar neck away, you try to wiggle your fingers, you're going to feel a lot of resistance in your tendons. Now, what we want to go for is this kind of thing. So I've got the thumb kind of up in the middle-ish area here. 
And you can play with this a bit when you get on the on the guitar. So here I am playing my C chord. I want this kind of action going on. It can be, like I said, it can be a little bit this way, just not this kind of stuff or like really, really gripping hard like that. You'll just restrict the movement of your fingers. And also gripping like this or like this makes it really difficult to get those fingertips and get those knuckles bent to get the nice clear sounds that we want. All right, so bonus reason number four. It's the guitar itself. Whether you have a new or a used guitar, uh, you need to have it what's known as set up. And that means to have the string height adjusted, have the neck adjusted, sometimes they get a little bent and warped, and have your strings changed. These are all really important things to have done to a guitar to make it easier to play. So find yourself a good guitar repair person and just tell them, I need a set up, I'm starting out on guitar, it needs to be easy to play and they'll know exactly how to help you out. All right, so there you go. There's my top three reasons plus a bonus one of why some of your chords were not sounding so great. I hope that that helps. Please comment, let me know how you're making out. Until next time, I'm Sean.